All right, so we are now in the city of Loja. I have to get my brake pads changed and I also have to get a tarp basically for the back of the truck. We're gonna go on a little trip in a few weeks, so I wanna get that installed before we go so I can put luggage in the back of the truck. So we're gonna go to Auto Motores Charlie is uh, one of the spots in Loja where you can find pretty much all different types of car parts and a variety of things like that. So that's where we're heading right now. I already spoke to Charlie. He's waiting for me. And um, he said they have different models for tarps. One of them is $200. It goes between $200 to $275. So we're going to go see what he has and get that done. All right, so I just wanted to mention right here is the city gates, La Puerta de la Ciudad. And right here, there's a street that is just off from the city gates here that is called Calle 18 de Noviembre. And on this street, you find a variety of um, repair shops, parts, auto parts shops, if you want to get some new wheels, new tires, uh, right here on your right. You see here Continental, you can get that. Right over here, all the cars that are parked, uh, as you can see, they're getting fixed, so people some of the workers here will come and fix cars right here on the street when you buy the parts directly. And yeah, it's uh, if you need car parts, this is definitely the place to go here in Loja. Calle 18 de Noviembre. Right here, we are arriving at Auto Shopping Charlie, which is this large gray building on the left-hand side. So this is basically what I'm getting, but it's much larger. It's for the whole back of my truck. And it has, I think, one, two, three. And you can unlock it, lock it. And it basically protects anything that's in the back of the cab. So right here they also sell mel melcochas, melcochas ¿no es cierto? which are made of basically brown sugar or panela, so the raw cane sugar and a little bit of peanuts. And my daughter just wanted us to buy them, so they're actually very delicious. They cost like a dollar or something for this large bag. And uh, here, why don't you show us? Why don't you show us how to eat them? <laughs> is it chewy or is it hard? Wow. It's hard. You kind of have to crack it up with your teeth. <laughs> All right, so this is basically what I'm buying. It's referred to as a lona in Spanish. Well, obviously, this protects from the rain. That being said, you know, if someone wanted to steal what you have in the back of your truck, they could easily put a hole through here with a knife or something but it's still an extra layer of security if you have stuff in the back of the truck. It gets uh, it's pretty tight and you know, it's nice. Anyways, if we wanna travel and wanna bring some luggages, we'll need that anyway, so let's get it done. All right, so I'm also getting my brake pads changed, so I'm gonna get these ones. They look like they're for hard work. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna wait for an hour and a half. We're gonna go and stroll through the park and come back when these guys have done their work. All right, so we're gonna go for a little stroll here to the Parque Bolivar. Hey, today is Saturday, so we're going to go check out what is going on here at Parque Bolivar. And just real quick for all your handymen out here, we have some power tools. You can find pretty much all different kinds of power tools in Ecuador. That's just a little sample here, but you have DeWalt, you have Makita, you have Stanley, uh, Bosch, you know, there's a bit of everything. Um, so you're able to find, you know, some good tools. Some people say they're not nearly as good as what you'd find in the US or in Canada. I don't know. The prices are slightly higher as well because they're imported, but still, you can pretty much find all your power tools here if you are concerned about that. There's kind of a fair going on here. There's vendors selling artesanías and other things. So we're going to walk around. This is Parque Bolivar, by the way. Uh, there's a beautiful, uh, beautiful statue in the middle. There's also a public bathroom here. Uh, this is, as I said, the Calle 18 de Noviembre where you get all of your car parts and there's some ferreterías as well, some hardware stores. but. We're going to check out what they have for sale here. Looks like the typical Ecuadorian 
stuff that you find in diff different fairs, but we're gonna go take a quick look and check it out. Diez dólares, ten dollars for this nice homemade, handmade little stool. You wanna, you wanna try it, Ellie? Twenty dollars for this nice handmade chair. Looks nice. This is for this is a uh, thirty dollars also, handmade wooden things for probably a shoe rack or something like that. Looks nice. Here we have your typical Ecuadorian artesanías, various things like little keychains. Loja Ecuador. Look at that. Looks nice. You like that? It's a nice cross. ¿Cuánto cuesta esto? This is a really nice handmade. Ecuadorian wallet. So as you can see, mitad del mundo, Ecuador, genuine leather. It's made here in Ecuador and costs twelve dollars. Doce dólares. Doce dólares, ¿no es cierto? Little brass bracelets, two dollars each. <laughs> All right, so right behind me, we have a statue of Simón Bolívar, El Libertador, the man who freed up South America from the Spaniard, Simón Bolívar. There's, there's a Bolívar street in every town or city in Ecuador, mostly, mostly throughout all of Latin America probably as well. Um, he's very well known, Bolívar, La Revolución Bolivariana. And that's Simon Bolivar right behind us, which the park here is named after Parque Bolivar. So as you can see behind me, beautiful trees in this park, lots of large sabo trees. There's some palm trees as well. It's just beautiful nature in Parque Bolivar here. So right here we have a costume store if you want to come and rent a cool outfit for a special celebration. But as you can see behind me, these are some of the traditional Ecuadorian clothing that they, they wear for special dances and that kind of thing. You might have seen the, the new kanchi. Uh, the, the traditional dance group in Vilcabamba, they wear something like that. And there's a bunch more things here that, uh, that you can rent. So it's, that's nice to have here in Ecuador as well. I have a choco banana here. Um, it's 60 cents each. And we're going to have one with mani, por favor. Mani y... Este mezclado. Want to try it? Yeah, that's Mary. That's the Virgin Mary. Uh, muchas gracias. So as you can see, this is what we're getting here for 60 cents in Loja, Ecuador. I'm excited. Can I have the first bite? All right, guys. So right now we're in a taxi. We're he heading over to Parque Jipiro here in Loja. We have a little bit of time to kill. So we're going to stroll around Parque Jipiro. Today's the weekend, so it's usually packed. There's a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of people here. And uh, we're just going to go walk around and check it out and have some fun here in Loja, Ecuador. You excited, girl? We're you're excited, girl? We have arrived at Parque Jipiro. As you can see here, beautiful entrance to the park. And right behind me, I want to point out the street food, the street vendors that they have here. So as you can see, there's chicken, sausages, beef, some delicious rice, corn, and just a bunch of things. And it's very affordable. It's usually like $1.50 or $2 for a plate of food. So that's really nice. You want to eat something? What do you want? ¿Cuánto cuesta una porción de esto? Un dólar. ¿Y qué? ¿Cómo se llama? Arroz relleno. Eh. Ah, ya. Yeah. So this is a arroz, ar, arroz relleno. It's a dollar for a bowl of it. Muchísimas gracias. You want to eat that? That whole thing? No, that thing? It's, 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 it's sausage with, I don't think you want that. I think you probably want like, there's a piece of chicken. Mm. Yummy? Mm. So Parque Jipiro is a really nice, large park. It's probably, I don't know, maybe 10 acres or something like that. There's a big lake here with paddle boats. There's also a um, variety of different buildings that represent different cultures. So actually there's an explanation here. I've read it on a different video before, but basically there's um, like 50 different countries that are represented. Let's go, let's go take a quick look to see what we're talking about here. So the idea, so the idea of this park is to share cultural things 
uh, share interna different international cultures. So there's a Taj Mahal, there's a Russian Orthodox Church, there's uh, China is represented, there's a pagoda over there by the lake, and J Japan, Korea, Mongolia. We have um, uh, some European countries as well, like Castillo Euro Latino, there's a, a Mayan Pyramid, Puerta del Sol, Tiwanaku, the Big Ben as well, and some different totems. So the idea is just to represent different cultures of, in the world. It's a beautiful park, as you can see. Take a look here. You, you have a lot going on. So as you can see, there's um, a lot of sports here. We have basketball courts. We have a soccer field. There's tennis as well. There's a bit large swimming pool area. There's um, a skate park as well. We have beautiful nature. Lots of There's a river that runs through one of the sides of it. We have a beautiful large lake as well. And it's just a really great place to come on the weekends with your family to come and enjoy the beautiful weather, meet some people. There's lots of families. It's very kids friendly. There's food, restaurants, uh, just a lot of stuff to do. So come check out Parque Hipiro here in Loja, Ecuador. So right here we have little cars for the little kids to pedal around the park. Here we have the Cathedral of St. Basil, St. Basil's Cathedral in Moscow, Russia. It's of course a smaller representation of it, but let's go take a look. Nice. Uh, you want some? He's, he... Here, I'll show you. Let me, muchas gracias. Uh, give me your hand, give me your hand and throw it to the ducks just like she, just like he's doing. There you go. See, they eat it. It's also a great place to come and get a, a good workout with some body weight exercise. So this is actually brand new here at Parque Hipiro. It's the Jurassic Park Dinosaur Park. So we're going to go see if we want to check it out. ¿Cómo le va? Hola. Ella, pero tiene tres años, me dice que no. Yeah. Muchas gracias. So it's a dollar per person. Children, little children don't have to pay. So one for me, one for Fernando. All right. So we're entering Jurassic Park here. Ooh, is that scary, Ellie? No. Whoa, 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 you're sitting on a dinosaur. Hey, look at the baby dinosaur then. Hola, que tal? <laughs> There's a zone for excavation here so the children can play in the sand, maybe find some fossils or something. So you can rent a bucket with a shovel for $1 and if you find a bone, you actually can win a prize. That's scary. Do a, do a scary dinosaur face, Ellie. Want a picture under the under the dinosaur? You want to go sit and we take a picture of you? Under and here we have an area where the children can come and paint and have some fun. We're not going to have time to do it today, but next time we'll come here and paint with the kids. All night long. And there's also some dinosaurs for sale. Little toy dinosaurs at the entrance here. You can also go on a train ride around the park for a dollar. There's also the Eiffel Tower, just like in Paris. Then we have some competitive basketball right here. If you're a basketball player, come to Loja and compete against some local players. As you can see, talented players here in Loja, Ecuador. But jokes aside, Loja actually has some really, really good basketball teams. We play basketball in Vilcabamba with a group of expats. 
But in Loja, we have uh, some really good basketball teams. We played against them before. They were really talented. I'm not a great player, but we have some good players in Vilcabamba. But Loja is known for its good basketball team. And right over here at the entrance, we have an indoor swimming pool. So you can come here, enjoy the water slides, swim in the water. I think the water is, is not too cold anyways. It's not warm, but it's a uh, comfortable temperature and it's great to have here as well. As you can see here, we have a nice large parking lot. And this is the entrance to the swimming pool. Let's go check out the pricing. So it costs a dollar for children and elderly and then two dollars for adults to use the swimming pool. So in Loja, you can take taxis pretty much anywhere in the city for about $1.25. If you go a little further out of the way, it might be $1.50, $2 at the very most for almost anywhere around the city. And, but, but the minimum cost is $1.25 and that takes you at least you know, 10 to 15 blocks away, something like that. Loja is not a huge city. Um, everywhere, everything downtown is pretty much in the same area, close by. Very walkable, actually. But the Parque Ipiro is a little bit out of the way, so we're taking a taxi now so we can get going. It didn't work. All right, so it looks like it wasn't working with the Carpa, the model. It doesn't really fit the cab of the, the truck. So anyways, I got my new disc pad, my uh, pastillas, and then get ready to hit the road. All right, guys, so I was in Loja yesterday. I got a bunch of nice footage. As you can see, I got a haircut. I got my beard cut. Look how short it is. I don't really like it like that, but it's okay, we'll grow back. Anyways, I made a lot of videos and they all got uh, deleted, unfortunately. So I had this made yesterday in Loja. Uh, I filmed the whole thing. They did a really good job. This cost me $120 and this was the best alternative for, uh, for a tarp. So basically this is custom made, handmade from Carpas Don Viche in Loja, Ecuador. And yeah, just wanted to show you guys a little shot of that as we end this video. So we hope to see you guys here in Vilcabamba, Ecuador one day. And until then, we'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel right here. Check out our real estate channel right here for content that you will absolutely love. Click right here. And if you wanna know how we got here, click here.